Keep that first alert in place as you can see if you're driving out and about. Dark clouds is what we're tracking and right now we're taking a live look at our Las Cruces camera. Very dark clouds in that area and we are already starting to see some storms develop. Let's bring things back to the El Paso area so we can see how things are looking on our side of town. Plenty of dark clouds as well to calm before the storm. We are already tracking some storms, but some of these, if they hold together, can continue to be severe. So again, I'm going to urge y'all, the best advice I can give you is to stay home. Yes, it's the weekend, but just stay home because those roads are going to get even worse than what they were this past several days. As we have flooding potential in the high category on top of that, periods of heavy rain and strong winds, along with that, lightning and thunderstorms. So dangerous conditions out there for your weekend. And if you do absolutely have to head out on the roads, head out with enough time. It is better to get to your location late than not to get there at all. Weather alerts right now. That flood warning is in place for our area and pretty much all across the region as well. Let's see what Doppler radar is showing us right now. We're going to zoom in a little bit closer so we can see how things are looking out towards Chaparral. We are tracking some heavy rain, but you can see those stronger storms are already pushing out. Nonetheless, still seeing some more moderate conditions. We're starting to see this storm sound near Canotillo. Unfortunately, out towards La Union as well. It's continuing, and we're going to continue to see those storms as more all the ingredients are there for these storms to continue and to get stronger. Let's bring things towards the El Paso International Airport, northeast side of town. We are tracking some more moderate conditions. And then we did start to see these storm cells start to pull apart. And so right now, just dry conditions are expected near Horizon City, Socorro, Belen, and the lower valley part of town. But I zoom out so you can see that all these storms hold themselves together, can push through our area within the next several hours, which is why we're keeping that first alert in place well up until even for tomorrow, because the threat is going to be that those areas that already got hit heavy with those storms are going to continue to see rain, whether it's severe rain, any type of rain. And if these storms do move out slowly, that can cause damage and it's definitely flooding as well. Our model isn't showing much activity for the next few hours. However, overnight it does show that we will start to see strong storms develop. This line of storms by Sunday, 7 a.m. So if you're going to be heading out on the roads early tomorrow morning, drive with caution because those roads will be slick. Our model shows that by Monday, not too much activity, but overnight Monday into your Tuesday, we do see these storms starting to develop. So heading out to work early in the morning, dropping off the kiddos at school, you're definitely going to have to drive with caution. So seven day forecast sponsored by Mattress Firm shows first alert will remain in place at least up until tomorrow morning as we're going to continue to track storms tonight into the start of tomorrow. Temperature wise still below average as that rain cool air dips us down to the 80s. We'll continue to track that monsoon pattern. But those storm chances will dip down Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday to a 20% chance with temperatures back to seasonable by Wednesday 90s back in the forecast. We have a look at sports after the break. Don't go anywhere.